Alright guys, we are looking at World War Z for this uh, episode. We get a spacey score and a ranking. The table came out a little while ago and it's going to be really interesting to see how it runs in cabinet mode. So let's crack into it guys, see how she plays. We gotta get out. Cool, okay. So guys, straight away, uh, you're good to go. Music is sort of pretty gripping towards the the theme. I'm not I'm not a World War Z expert or by any means I'm not familiar with the franchise. But of course, that it's a zombie apocalypse type thing. And the music is sort of uh, a bit ominous sounding. And the zombies there coming out of the slings. Get together, we can go. Over here, look. And interestingly, Zen has decided to have a dark flip, dark and off flipper there on the on the top, where normally they're all the same luminosity. Um, and of course, it would be much better if they did go get it. darken it, depending on where it is on the table. Same with the ball, that, for that matter. But they don't do the ball but anyway. I'm trying to get something off that shot, actually, to the. Fly right flipper. And now we've gone very quiet. Look at that. No music, guys. A little bit here. Here we go. Interesting. No! Okay. It's two balls out relatively quickly. We go together. Both Keep your neck in handy. Out of outlines. Table sort of, you know, very filled with those ramps on the left hand side there. There's not really much else to it. Lurker mode. Alrighty. Rather interesting sound palette, <laughs> that's for sure. Ooh. Wow. This will work. It just keeps coming. We gotta fall back. That didn't last long at all, guys. So we will get back into it again. Let's give that another go to see what's going on here in terms of difficulty. The cash uh, came flying out there from the skill shop. Oh. 
luckily saved. That was uh, not good on my behalf. Ah. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna get these two flashing here, and I mean, these are lit, so I mean, they should all count for something, right, guys? Otherwise, we've just got these ones on the left. Yeah, I feel like this whole part of the table over there is sort of because it's so obscured, you're sort of losing a big portion of the table. It's like the original Sega uh, Godzilla. There's <laughs> a big Godzilla here. here. Sort of takes up a big part of the table, guys. So, yeah. This is a death trap. we got to get out. Oops. Get a smooth shot off that right flipper. Doesn't seem like satisfying shots up there. Door open, bring it in. Over here. Look. I'm not sure how this looks uh, again on a desktop view if it if it just looks better. Uh, in this top down view. Go get it. Ten more, seven, six, five, four. Oh, couldn't quite get all of them. Come on. Still got fighting with you. Those outlines are. Oh, shit. A bit brutal. Again, guys, because clearly those were two very short games. We go together. Keep your medkits handy. And is this a uh, another um, Wrath of the Elder Gods type situation with outlanes, hungry outlanes that just kill the game? It does seem that way so far. Quite a nice thump there to the music, I've got to admit. Oh, 
door open. Bring it in. <laughs> Somewhat ironically, it's hard to see that flipper now. <laughs> now that it's shaded. Wow, out for outlanes, guys. It's an outlane drainer. Mmm. Mmm. We gotta get out. Cool little stop with the magnet, I must say, coming out of there. Save the least. Oh boy. No. Oh boy. Out late again. You're good to go. Get the skill shot. Okay now, a stint pistol. do this normally but we're having one more so that's like four games right guys You're good to go. but I feel like I sort of have to there's something very odd about this table if I can actually get a bit of a rhythm of a game going and not just lose it cheaply out the outlane on this final game. the health up there, let's see, is that the right thing to do? Oh. 
I was actually looking up at the time at the time to see if it was going down when I was hitting him. Uh, but we still lost it out the outlane. Okay. Hmm. You gotta get out. And not, Go not, get him. not, not a lot of movement on the health and him just wandering around the table. Okay, guys. Yeah. It is getting him, isn't it? It's taking a while. Those coughs, wow. Get rid of them. Targets two or four. Oh well, he's down. These targets up there. Oh, I'm out the outline again. What is that, guys? Is that a hundred percent out? Outlines. We go together. Last Keep four. your neck handy. Well, one ball out of all of them, guys, down the middle, due to my error. They just keep coming. We gotta fall back. Oh boy. Okay, guys, let's give this a spacey score. So, guys, geez, I'm, uh, I'm a little confused what to make of all of that, but maybe it will help as we go through the rankings to see how this, uh, ranks amongst all the other zen tables so we're going to talk about the theme first guys uh, as i said world war z is not something that i gravitate to or know a lot about um the zombie apocalypse thing you know it's always a cool thing does it translate well into a table yeah um you know it's sort of a cool thing to have uh it's not amazing though and and the way that this has been executed the whole table was just a little almost a little depressing guys and uh, I know it's not all fun and fun and games when you've got um, you know zombie apocalypse going on but yeah it's just uh, it's a little grim <laughs> a little grim so I think I'm gonna give this theme and the sort of translation to this pinball table a seven for that on that basis the atmosphere is it has got a good atmosphere with that with that uh, especially with this the sound the music and the call outs and the um, and the look of the table, so there is an atmosphere there that, that you're that you're in. It's just the nature of the game; it doesn't really enth sort of enthrall you in that atmosphere, if that makes sense. So there is good atmosphere, but it's not necessarily great for a pinball game. That's probably what I'm trying to get at. 
So I think that's a seven as well, guys, uh, for atmosphere for me. The layout realism and you know having this as a real table and this with this layout, uh, there's something about this layout, guys. It's a little clunky. There's just a few shots there. I don't like all that stuff in the top left-hand corner, especially on the top-down view. Um, and just yeah, I just felt a little. It's like not many shots, and I still felt a little lost with it. Um, so yeah, so the layout I don't think helps the game. Um, and it's nothing special or like great that I'd go, yeah, cool, this is a cool layout. There's something about it, eh? It's going to get a six, guys, from me. Uh, table artwork. Well, it's a little basic. You gotta get out. Um, I mean, it's sort of, it's nice in here. Some of the colouring is really nice. It's sort of got that sort of Photoshop type look with a few punters here and a bit of graphics here. And otherwise, it's relatively plain. But yeah, the color palette is sort of sort of nice with that. Um, but yeah, it's not a it's not a wow like look at this table, right? Suits suits sort of the theme. It's mid range, guys, for me. It's um, it's a six. I was going to say seven, but no, it's a six. Animations. Look, there's a few animations there, and the dude walking around, and you know when we start these modes and push that up in the in the corner there where the bumpers are. It's not a lot going on though. Um, it's a little sparse. Get some money flying out of here, but yeah, it's not it's not amazing by any means in relation to animations on other tables, at least from what I've seen so far, far guys. So it's going to get a five. Graphical effects, again, a little bit devoid of anything amazing. I can't really even think of anything amazing that was happening there in terms of graphical effects. So, yeah, that doesn't score highly at all, actually, for me on this table. Um, I think we're down at, you know, down at a, a four, really, for graphical effects. The lighting, the lighting's not bad. Um, you know, there's a little bit of 3D effect in it, just with the darkness and the light, and for the, you know, for the nature of the table, um, everything else is relatively clear. It was interesting that this is shaded, and it, is, it was harder to play because of that. Um, so yeah, it's reasonable. It's reasonable lighting. It's not terrible by any means. Uh, so I think it's probably an eight for the lighting. The DMD uh, look was quite sparse, I thought, for one of the newer. Um, type of, of games uh, from Zen's releases with the colour DMDs so yeah it wasn't wasn't overly good from that point of view it was sort of clear but it didn't really tell me what was going on either guys so it was a bit of a letdown from that point of view at least from my experiences there so I think it gets knocked down because of those things and really comes back down to probably a six on the DMD the music, the music definitely suits this theme. It was, it was quite cool when this is like punchy, just low notes. Um, a little bit like Williams' Dracula and that sort of thump, thumping sort of deep sound, which sort of suits the theme. It doesn't go anywhere really, and it doesn't sort of excite as such. It's almost like they've continued the zombie theme and the sort of you know that the chord set without like getting into some major chords and something that really sparked the table off and look, I don't know even if that would work uh, so yeah it's a bit of a mixed bag from that point of view some good points but I think it you know not kind of come back and go yeah it's like incredible gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a seven it's still reasonably constructed music there guys it's you know it's a good track but just yeah falls down a bit just helping this become a really cool table you want to come back to the sound effects yep some sort of grungy sound effects in there that suit the game um nothing amazing in there uh if anything maybe even a little flat i'm going to give the sound effects more of a six the call outs uh again sort of a little bit flat there's nothing necessarily wrong with them but it's just it's all a bit dull <laughs> it's just like a little bit forced um 
so yeah i think it's a six there as well guys on the call outs the flow is is a it's a bit clunky it's a bit clunky guys and um it really wasn't getting a nice rhythm off that that middle flipper on the right just the other shots so yeah it just it's not a table that feels like it really really was flowing and that last game i got a lot, little bit more used to it and was you know getting the ball around a bit more but i still wouldn't say this is a high flying table guys um it's a six as well for flow shot interest relatively sparse guys like it's just i don't know it's a bit tedious it's such a strange table this i almost feel like it just should be better than it is and there's just multiple things here that are not quite right that are bringing it all down uh so yeah shot interest for me is low it's a five guys it's a five for me on shot interest challenge now the challenge was hard but that was because i was just losing balls out on the out lanes which is just shocking i think this is worse than um uh the wrath um of the elder gods so although that was pretty bad but yeah like I, it was almost 100 percent of the balls wasn't it guys lost out on the out lanes and that's cheap um and then the rest of the challenge is just sort of trying to get it around this clunky table so i don't think the challenge is really high and from a good challenge perspective i think it's about a I think it's about a four oh not a four it's a five it's probably a five guys sort of again this this particular element i feel like if everything connects and if you play a really good game and you don't lose it down the outlines like it could feel like a really good challenge to it but anyway i didn't get that experience guys so so the physics feel is good we're sort of at that the the newer remastering type of uh physics that i think we're sort of finding at this point um and so yeah it wasn't too bopping and carrying on or floaty so i think we're at the eight the level eight there on the physics um the fun factor this is the big killer there's no fun in this table guys and even even getting into that mode it just was dull it's such a shame it just it just feels like this whole table is like 10 degrees off in all the important parts <laughs> fun is going to be low it's a two guys for me on fun it's just and, and that's I, I think i'm being generous because i don't even feel like i could get any fun out of it but it was something there i guess it's a two replayability can't see myself coming back to this especially not with those outlane drains that just just frustrate me anyway again i felt like i got a fairly reasonable game in that fourth one but i just get too frustrated and then just everything else being just so like uh nah replayability is low it's a four guys it's a four for replayability for me and then the spaces x factor struggling here to find anything on the x factor for this table i mean maybe the x factor is the unknown like i just feel like there's something unknown that either i'm not unlocking or experiencing it feels like the table's got it and and you know and maybe there's some curiosity to come back to find it <laughs> so out of the weirdest a lot of x factors i could give i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it one point for that bizarreness <laughs> so guys wow all right so we land here at a spacey score we'll see, and we'll see where that lands on the lineup but yeah what an interesting table really curious to hear your views and thoughts on this table guys um especially differing thoughts from mine as well because that's super important especially for other people that are looking at this again maybe i'm missing something massive here maybe i just don't play it well let me know your thoughts guys down below and uh we will carry on reviewing and ranking the zen original license tables 
We'll see you on the next one. Until then, ciao for now.